Hey guys, so I'm going to make my dress for New Year's and I thought I would share with you on how I'm going to make it. So I got a yard and a half of this shiny. It was either gold or silver, so I went with gold. And then I got a yard of just black. It's more of like a cotton stretch, which I'm going to put underneath the gold. So see, it's kind of stretchy. But um, with this, the gold over it, it shouldn't be very see-through. I am hoping. But yeah, so then I got that. And then I got a yard of some mesh. So yeah. So yeah, I got a yard of that as well. Alrighty, so I'll get to it and show you um, what I'm going to make. So to get started, I'm just going to take the fabric and put it around my body and just kind of measure how much I think I need. And then I'll just cut it from there. So I'm not doing no sizing, nothing. I'm just putting it against my body and measuring it that way. And that is always the most dangerous thing to do while sewing because at the end of this video, you will see I did make my dress too short. So that's why you always want to make sure to size, but I like to eyeball everything. So I'm just going to do it that way and I'm just kind of just cutting everything as I'm laying it across me. As you can see there are my arms and that's how I get my measuring done. And the dress that I'm working on is going to be a gold sequence dress with a deep V mesh on the front and then it's going to have mesh arms. And then it's going to be long sleeve and then also a mesh back. So I want my whole back to be covered in mesh. So I'll show you all how that's going to go with my measuring skills that I'm doing. And for the front, I'm going to be using, I have a black onesie that you see there. And it has a deep V. And I love the deep V on that. So I'm actually just going to trace that around the front of the dress. Just so I can kind of know how deep I need to go with um, the front. There. And then I'm just going to end up pinning the front and the back of my dress there together. And then I'll just sew the sides of the dress. And then that will pretty much be the whole thing. And then I just got to put the mesh on. And now for the first mistake. There goes my dress that's supposed to go all the way around and sewed. And you can see that it doesn't even reach the other side of my body. What a disappointment. See why you should measure everything out before you start cutting and sewing. But luckily I have an idea and I'm going to fix my dress by adding mesh in the middle. So I just cut out one string of mesh and that's what I'm going to put in the between my dresses. So on the side you'll just have a straight line of mesh and that will fix my problem on that. So now that I got the sides all pinned together, I am I have the dress on and I'm just going to pin the top to my bra. And then I'm going to drape over the mesh. Um, so I cut out a hole for my head and then I have that my head through there. And then I'm just going to kind of drape over the front and then have the back drape. And I'll just pin that together where I need that to be. And then I'll know where I need to sew it at. So now we're going to get to sewing. And I always start off with doing the sleeves because those are always the easiest for me. And I'm just going to start off with the wrist there. And I'll just do a serge straight across so it gives it that clean finish. And then I'll fold that over and then do a straight stitch just so it looks nice and neat. And now to get started on the top piece, I just kind of cut that out and did the V. And then I just sewn that together. So as you can see there, I just have... A little piece that kind of stuck out there on my back that didn't match up with my sewing. So I just got to try to figure out how I'm going to fix that and try to pull it maybe tightly together just to get it to work out. And you can see on my breast there, I do have a patch. I don't know if you can see it there on the right. I did make it a little too small. So I had to add in a patch, which I actually don't like it. So I'm going to take it off. And maybe just try to bring in the other side so it's a little bit more even there. But that's pretty much how it's coming out. I just have a hole to do on the side of the dress. And then that back part I need to figure out how I'm going to stretch that in to bring it. And then I'll be done. So now I am starting with the hole on the side of the dress there. As you can see it's actually a pretty big hole. But... 
I'm going to just take this piece and line it up with that gold part there. As you can see, there's also a hole in that, so I'm going to tuck the mesh between the gold fabric and that black cotton fabric and just sew straight up on that. Now that I got that sewn together, that top part, well it's like a straight line kind of going straight across, and I just got to pinch that together from the inside, and I'm going to sew a straight line across there, and on the outside it'll just look nice and neat whenever it gets pulled apart. And this is going to be the finish of it. As you can see there, it's all sewn together, but it is a little bit bulgy so I'll just cut off the excess um, fabric in the back there and I still have a hole so I just need to sew, pinch that together and sew that so I won't have no holes in my beautiful New Year's Eve outfit so voila and that part is all done and it's all stuck together and I did probably do, I did a regular stitch, a back stitch, a regular stitch, a back stitch and one more regular stitch just to make sure that it stays locked together and now I'm going to be working on the side right there where I'm bringing the back piece into my side mesh because those are two separate pieces and that I'm also just going to tuck into the inside so see there how it looks nice and clean and all the extra fabric will be on the inside there so I'm just going to do a straight stitch on that and again I'm going to do like three um, full stitches and then like two back stitches on that just to give it an extra safety net and there you have it and there's a lot of excess fabric on the back so I'm just going to cut that off just to thin it out so it doesn't look like such a dark line and it'll be a little bit thinner and of course while I was cutting the extra fabric I seen that there is still another hole so I just gotta sew that together and there you have it, after everything's cut, it did come out quite thinner than what it was. So now I'm going to start on the most difficult part of it, which is that back piece that I can't figure out how to get all that extra fabric that I have um, to fit, which I'm just going to pull it as much as possible, and hopefully once I sew it together it'll look fine, which that's my most nervous part, is it's still going to look like it's a whole bunch of extra fabric just hanging there, which is going to look weird because the other side of me will look fitted and that side will look all wrinkly. But I'm just going to try it out. Worst comes, I will have to undo the stitch. But as you can see there, it didn't look so bad. Um, that is all the extra fabric in there that I had to pull together. So I will just end up cutting all that extra fabric out and I will be done.